Good morning, guys. I finished um, Tricapta and all that stuff and <laughs> took both dogs out this morning. Um, and now I'm ready to get on my treatment. Last night, we had a crazy storm go through. I think it, I guess it was around like 8 o'clock. It hit and there wasn't much wind, but there was so much rain. Like the rain was like pouring like so hard you couldn't even see. And then the craziest part was the lightning. There was like a couple bolts hit like right across the street from us, like just mere feet away, like maybe 15 feet away. Um, they hit in the lake. And let me see, the first time one of those hit, I have my face up against the window because I was watching the, um, the storm and it hit right there. And it was like, it was really beautiful. It was, I didn't catch that one on film, unfortunately, but it was beautiful. It was like purple and streaking down. And then it was like deafening thunder, like um, all the animals just took off running. That is the closest a lightning bolt has ever come to me, um, except for one other time, years and years ago when we were in Arkansas, I should say come to my house, not me. I was inside the house, but years and years ago um, in Arkansas, there was a bad storm and we were watching it out the window as well because I, I don't know, I tend to watch the storms. Unless it's tornadic, then I'm trembling. But um, anyway, so you're watching it and it hit literally our cable line that was outside. So it was literally maybe, I don't know, at the most like three feet away from the window. Um, that was the most deafening thunder roar I've ever heard. But last night came pretty close. And um, not only was there like that one strike, but it was constant for a while. Like some of the, the thunder was literally shaking the house with how loud it was. So it, it's quite the adventure, but I enjoyed it. I actually turned off all the lights and just watched the storm for a while. Just listened to the rain and watched the storm and just, it was this moment of peace and quiet. It was, it was really nice actually. It was, it was like, it was, it was funny to me. I was like, it's funny how a storm is my calm in the storm, but, um, it was, I really just enjoyed, after about, I guess like 30 minutes, it was starting to irritate my eyes, having the constant flashing, so I turned the lights back on, but um, I really, really enjoyed watching that storm last night, and we got a good amount of rain. The unfortunate side to that is it is super humid today, so I will not be going out again, except to take the dog out tonight, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'll put in, if I remember, hopefully I'll remember, I'll try to remember, I'm bad about it, uh, I'll put in a little clip I took of the lightning last night, so, a little bit of flashing warning if you guys are sensitive to flashes. Um, skip ahead in the video. Um, but uh, uh, basically when you hear me talking again, cause that'll just be, it'll be quiet there. Um, but yeah, it was, it was nice. So anyway, I'm going to get on my treatment and have some coffee and um, just hang out and enjoy the day. Um, we are gonna watch another NASCAR race, or part of another NASCAR race tonight, um, because it's 500 laps, so we're not gonna watch it all tonight. But um, what I am excited, what I'm actually excited about watching this week is on Wednesday, there is a, uh, I think it's SpaceX, there's a launch here in Florida, um, and they're gonna televise it. They're, for the first people are going up to space in a long time, and so I'm excited to watch the launch of that. But um, yeah. So overall, it's just been a pretty pretty chill morning. Um, we did go out and walk to the lake to see if there was like any obvious trees or anything that got struck, and there wasn't. Um, so it was just the lake itself. I was like, does that fry the fish? D does that affect the fish if lightning strikes it? I'm not sure. But um, anyway, so hope you guys are having a good day out there, and I'll see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you a little something that I did last night. Um, I got it under, I got the idea under a hundred things to do when you're bored in quarantine. And um, I gotta get it out of this. I put it in this 
Christmas box, and you'll see why in a second. Um, so basically what I did is I have this little piece of paper and it says, let me see, maybe you can't see, do not read until December 31st, 2020 at 11 p.m. So basically this is a, and I put it on both sides, <laughs> this is a uh, note to my future self or a letter to my future self, um, just to see how many predictions of of what I put in here will come true by December 31st and see how I feel on, well it was May 20, what was it, 24th, so like May 23rd versus December 31st and how I'll feel about 2020 again when I open this letter. So um, yeah, I, I just thought that'd be kind of fun thing to do um, and see. Hopefully, as I wrote in here, I was like, hopefully the next six months have gone better than the first five because, ooh, what a doozy this year's been. So, um, so yeah, I just thought it'd be fun um, to, just to see, you know, just to, just to see if, if things are the same or if things are different. One thing I wrote in there was like, I hope you've met Mason by now, which is uh, my sister, if you don't know, she's pregnant. She's like 20 weeks pregnant um, and she's due in October. So by December, he should be two months old. Um, and, and then other, other like little silly things like his hockey bag, have you, are you still scared to go to the grocery store and, and just like that, um, stuff like that. So I think that'll be fun. Um, what I'm gonna do now is, I think I'm gonna paint my nails. I was debating on it because, well, I read this article about how like chip nail polish can hold COVID-19 and stuff, but I think that it'll give me something that's gonna make me happy. Um, because whenever I paint my nails, I'm not like a huge girly girl, like I hate makeup, for example. But I don't want to wear makeup. Like the most I will do is some lip gloss or some lipstick and that and maybe a little bit of eyeshadow on like super fancy events, but otherwise keep the makeup off of me. I, I feel like I'm wearing like a cake on my face. <laughs> um, but, uh, so anyway, but whenever I paint my nails, it makes me happy. Um, I just like seeing that little splash of color. So I don't know what color I'm gonna use. I have like five down here. Kinda want a purple. I don't have purple, um, but I don't know. I'll see. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll let you know what color I decide. Meanwhile, while I'm getting to the nail polish, I just have this whole like stack of <laughs> uh, protection, I guess. I've got this for, I confiscated this because we got the Lysol, so I was like, I'm keeping this for flying. I've got a bunch of gloves over here. I've got a pack of uh, hospital grade wipes over here. It's a, it's, it's a mess. <laughs> okay, I'm going different than normal. I'm going green. Um, usually I do like a blue or a pink or a red, those kind of things. But today I'm gonna go green, partly because with all the hand washing, I know this is not gonna last very long. So if this starts chipping, it's not gonna be like upset me as it would like the blue. Not that I'd be like, oh my gosh, it's chipping, but it, I don't care about this one as much. Um, does it have a color? No. Can't see because there's other nail polish on top of it. I think it says limestone. I got this. Um, I'm trying to grow my nail polish collection. I have two pinks, a green, a blue, like a light blue, um, and yellow and red. I want purple. Purple is the next one I want. Um, but I got this during Halloween. Uh, no, not Halloween. This was not Halloween. The red and the yellow were Halloween. This was Christmas. I got this for during Christmas because um, I tried to do a little like Christmas tree pattern. It didn't go very well, but um, I, when I flew in, uh, I think it was like December 7th and December, I flew around that time. I literally got like all decked out. Cause you guys don't know, I was like super Christmas this past season. I always love Christmas, but I was like super into it this past season. So when I flew, I was wearing like this Christmas sweater with this flamingo and I had on Christmas, um, I had Christmas uh, painted nails and I had Christmas pants and I was just like all the Christmas. And so that's why I got this. But for today, it's not Christmas. It's just gonna be green. I guess it could be spring if you will. Um, yeah, we'll go with spring, summer, spring. Close enough. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll listen to some music while I do that. Um, and uh, yeah, after that, I'll probably upload this at some point. I have to let it dry for like an hour because when I try to pull the um, SD card out, it sometimes chips it. So after like an hour, I'll probably upload this. And um, yeah, I think, the la I think the last time I painted my nails was for that Christmas thing. It was either that or I don't remember when this was. It might have been in January. I did, um, I, one time we went to a lightning game, I did them blue with a lightning bolt. Um, so it was either January or uh, Christmas. So it's been a while. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, so I finished um, 
my left hand always ends up looking better because I'm right-handed. There's the evidence. But um, they're still drying. They're in that like awkward phase where they're not wet, but they're not dry. Um, so I enjoy doing that. I'm gonna upload this in a little bit. I don't want to deal with like the SD card and stuff right now, or it'll chip. But um, I I needed that. I needed a little bit of time just to do some self care of something that makes me happy. Today I've just been trying to do things that make me happy because being honest and vulnerable with you guys, I realized last night a hard truth that I didn't really want to accept but it was a truth and that was um so I had the opportunity to go to a um to a store that's relatively safe I mean my sister who's pregnant has been there and um I realized that actually I am legitimately terrified to go like I have been in the house 71 days or 10 weeks um and so the fact of like this has kind of become my safe zone if you will like where I don't have to always think about washing my hands or is this person coughing or does this person have a mask on etc etc um and but at the same time I want to do kind of like a soft going out if you will because I do have to fly at the end of June mid to end of June and if I just go straight to flying I'm probably gonna have a complete mental breakdown with everything because I you know I'm not used to being around other people so um so anyway, I was really disappointed last night. I was actually like legit like really upset with myself because I couldn't get myself to go out the door. I just couldn't. It was literally making me panic. So um, so that kind of carried over into this morning and it was just not the greatest day in the world. Um, I kind of go through these cycles where it's like um, I'm okay and then I'm not okay and then I'm okay and then I'm not okay, etc, etc. So um, like for example, this is really bad but it's 6.30 and I literally haven't eaten anything today because I think because of the stress and the emotions I don't feel like eating. Um, so I'm gonna eat a little something here in a second. But um, so anyway, today I was just like okay I just need to step back and do something that makes me happy. So despite the fact that yes there's articles out there saying COVID-19 can get on nail polish, as long as I'm washing my hands as much as I have been, I'll be fine. So I was like, I just need to do something that makes me happy and this made me happy. I painted my nails, I talked to my sister, I talked to my mom, I listened to Disney songs and sang along with them and it helped tremendously. So um, if you guys are out there and you're having the same struggles as I am, because I know a lot of people are right now, take some time to do what makes you happy in a safe manner, in a way that's not reckless, but do what makes you happy. Have a self-care day. Have a day where you're just like, what the heck? I'm gonna, is that the, uh, the stadium we went to? That's, that's oh, that's, it looks like uh, the Atlanta Bright Stadium. Um, do, what, do what makes you happy. Paint your nails, listen to music, dance around the house, sew, uh, color, play video games, whatever makes you happy. Just have a day where you're uh, giving yourself what you need because there's always this constant level of stress right now. There's so much anxiety. There's so much everything. Just give yourself, give yourself time to do, to de-stress, to give yourself, um, a little bit of happiness in the chaos. So that's all I've got for today. Thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.